Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or oh, welcome if you're new here. Today we are doing a flip through video. So I got my traveler's notebook here with me and I'll be showing you guys my May insert. So I'll bring you to my desk so we can go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me just go ahead and open this up. Now, first thing that you see when you open my Traveler's Notebook is this craft paper folder. I got this one from Traveler's Company. I still have it to decorate it, but I haven't decided yet how I'm going to be doing that. So that's why it's still blank. But let me go ahead and open this up. And here it is. This is my May insert. And as you can see, it's very chunky. <laughs> I love that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the flip through. First things first on the cover, I just decorated very uh, basic. I just put it this dry flower and a stamp that says May 2020. I, I definitely regret using dry flower on the cover. It keeps breaking all the time. Not a good idea. <laughs> definitely not doing that next time. Um, but when you open the cover, the first thing that you see is the front inside cover. And this one, I just decorated very simply with some uh, old uh, book paper here and some craft paper. And this page is what I use to, um, to write it down my monthly goal. And I go into a lot more of details of how I set up my traveler's notebook in another video. So if you're curious about it, I'll link it above here on the screen. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, the next page is my uh, monthly calendar. Here's where I keep track of all the birthdays, um, holidays, events going on, or any trips. Um, I like a, you know, a synopsis of uh, everything that's happening on that month. As you can see, this month was very empty. We are still in quarantine for most of the month. So there's not really a lot going on this month. But yeah, that's what I use my monthly calendar for. On the next pages, I have my weekly logs. So this is very, the layout is very similar to the layout from the uh, weekly planners from uh, Traveler's Company inserts. They, you know, it's the same kind of layout. The only difference for the insert, they have this page um, blank and uh, just the weekly log on, on the left side. I really like this layout. It's very simple. Um, I usually only use my weekly logs to write it down my uh, goal for the day. So I, I don't need a lot of a lot of space for this layout so i love this layout um but if you need more space for your weekly logs travelers company do have an insert that it's already set up as a weekly planner so it's kind of the same uh this you know set up the same way the only difference you have this page blank here now i did I did do this myself. I just mark one inch per day and whatever it is left over, I use it for the cover of the week. And uh, yeah, it's very simple. I don't decorate too much those pages. Um, this is just, you know, to keep track of my daily uh, goals. So I don't go too crazy with the decoration here. Uh, so I just use a lot of washi tapes and uh, some wood stamps that I got it from Michaels. This is the last week of May. This is week 22. I have an entire process video in real time for this spread. So if you're interested in seeing how I decorated the spread, I'll link the video above here on the screen as well. Um, but yeah, this is the only weekly spread that had an extra page here. So I went ahead and just decorated with extra pieces of ephemera. Um, but the reason why uh, this page was blank, it's because you see, uh, once I flip the page, um, I use two full pages for one day of each month. So this page would be blank if I didn't decorate it. So that's why I added this one here. All right. Once my week logs are done, the next page is for my journal. So like I say, I journal every day and uh, for each day of the month i have two full pages so even if i don't have a lot to journal on i use it to decorate so this was may 1st this was on friday i just wrote it down with my tombow brush pen in brown the um the word lockdown uh, the reason why i did that is because this day was supposed to be the day that economy in arizona that's where i live was going to be open up again but 
our governor decided to extend it until May 15th. So I wanted to, you know, to write it down that we're still in lockdown uh, here. And we didn't do much that day. It was a very chill day. We just went to Whole Foods. So I just grabbed some of the pieces and bits from the bag from Whole Foods. And uh, I just used some washi tapes. This is also from washi tape that I got uh, from Michael's. All right. Day number two, this was a Saturday. And you notice throughout my journaling, guys, that most of the theme uh, in the pages has a lot to do with what happened that day. It's very rarely when I decorate a page uh, with a theme that has absolutely nothing to do with what happened that day. So you see here that I use it like some uh, first cut image from a magazine with a, you know, a desk and a chair because this day I spent most of my day in my art studio just journaling so i wanted to document that on may 3rd this was a sunday uh, this i had it a, a lot of journaling on this day so i just did the step in here from the in and out bag uh, this day we had to go to a different town uh, called peoria to pick it up a um, gym equipment that my boyfriend bought it from someone online so in the parking lot there's so many uh, trees blooming and the flowers and it was so pretty so i picked one of the flowers up this yellow flower that was so cute uh, on our way back we stopped by in and out to um to have lunch i was just through a drive through and we ate in the parking lot so i grabbed this part from the bag as well as this one right here when I came back home that day, I went to Michael's, so I have a piece of the receipt there. And at this tag, it's from one of the uh, packages from the wood stamps that I got at Michael's that day. All right. Uh, May 4th, this was a Monday. This was the day that I actually bought my uh, camo traveler's notebook. So I used the stip in here to um, record that. And I used some... Uh, um, um, this is sticky notes just to cover some of my journaling here there's some personal stuff that's why i cover but yeah uh, most of those um stickers is actually from a washi tape that i got it at michael's this was like a magazine that i cut it up and uh, most of those um scrap papers that you see it's from a paper pad that i got at michael's as well this one as well all right next day this was uh may 5th uh, here in the U.S. we celebrate Cinco de Mayo. It's a, a Mexican holiday. Um, it was actually created originally from a tequila company. That's why I have some tequila there. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to document this day. And uh, I worked on my YouTube that day as well. So I put it an uh, image of YouTube. And um, these are all from a washi tape that I got at Michael's. This one as well. And this one as well. So yeah, and I just use a piece of... Uh, old book page but that's about it on this day uh, may 6th this was a wednesday this was the day that i actually got in the mail my traveler's notebook um i was so excited so you know traveler's notebook always has in the package this paper slit so i just ripped in half because it doesn't fit it's too long and i didn't want it to fold it so i just um glued glued here with some washi tapes and I did kind of like a tip in. And uh, this is also another paper that comes with the uh, with the Travels Notebook. It's just a leather care instruction. So I wanted to keep this one as well. So it's another tip pen, and I have some journaling underneath it. And I just decorated with this um, tag. I thought it was cute and a fitting with the theme. And uh, yeah. And uh, I just decided to put this code here. Uh, because it was the first day that I got my traveler's notebook, it's related to journaling. Let me read it for you guys. It's very cute. Um, keep your daily diary of your dreams, goals, and accomplishments. If your life is worth living, it is worth recording. Marilyn Gray. Isn't that uh, right? <laughs> Isn't that true? I love this quote so much. I might even put it in the cover of my paper craft folder. Anyways, moving on, the next day, this was a, a May 7th, this was a Thursday, nothing really happened here, I had a lot of thoughts, a lot of personal journaling, 
that's why you see this tip in right here with this craft paper um, I cover most of it because it's very personal um, but yeah and uh, really the only thing that happened this day was I baked a cake so that's why I have an image of a cake here and uh, a good tip it's like I don't like to have uh, recipe books there's very few recipes that I use it um, but that's a good way for you to keep recipes is put it in your journal so I have the recipe of the book oh the book of the cake what i'm what i'm saying of the cake here anyways moving on <laughs> may 8th this was a friday and this is not halloween <laughs> um this is actually a very simple uh, day as you can see there's not a lot of journaling this day um so i just decided to decorate the page uh the bats is just to uh symbolize the the show that we were watching that day, which is called the What We Do in the Shadows. Uh, it's a very funny show about um, vampires. So I thought who would be fitting uh, with the page here. But this is what I'm talking about. Uh, even in a day that we, I don't have a lot of journaling um, to do, I like to still have the two full pages for a whole day because I can take advantage of that day and actually, you know, decorate the page and uh, make it more fun. Anyways, moving on. Enough rambling. This is May 9th. This was a Saturday. I just added some flowers here and a picture of a bees. I just wanted to, you know, uh, to record that this day was the day that we got bees in, um, yeah, in our place. So we grabbed two um, beehives. So I wanted to record that. Uh, May 10th, this was... Um, this was the day that I celebrate Mother's Day in the U.S. I'm sure a lot of countries celebrate on the same day as well. Um, but I did a spread just saying Happy Mother's Day with the flowers illustration and some old book page. And here I put a Happy Mother's Day as well in Portuguese because my mom speaks Portuguese. So anyways, very simple, nothing crazy. I just spoke with my mom that day and um, yeah. This next layout, I wanted to um, to record a, a bit about COVID-19 here. Um, this was the day that actually, although uh, our governor had decided to reopen everything up again just on May 15th, this was May 11th, um, he decided to allow all restaurants um, in Arizona to reopen on this day. So I wanted to, um, you know, document this. So that's why I did this layout and I worked on my YouTube channel as well. So that's why I have this. On May 12th, this was a Tuesday. Nothing really happened here. The whole day I just worked on the microphone that I use on my camera it was having me a lot of issues. I got very stressed out this day. Ah, it was crazy. So I just had a like a, a image that I grabbed from my um, magazine with some drinks I just had some drinks at night with my boyfriend just to relax a bit because it was a very stressful day for me nothing was working anyways May 13 I wanted to to document that this day was the day that uh, gyms were allowed to open in my state and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, nothing crazy May 14th, this was a Thursday. Uh, we actually had uh, some friends coming over, Tony and Shelby, uh, to stay with us for the weekend. It was a very fun day. Uh, we took them out uh, to this place called the Pizza Patio. Um, although, you know, the governor allowed all restaurants to start reopening on Monday, um, in my town, most of the restaurants were still closed or just allowing uh, takeout. So this was the only place in town that was actually open. Uh, it's called the Pizza Patio. Uh, but we decided to end up taking the food uh, to our place and eat it there. But um, yeah, we just uh, took some pictures. This is like a very nice um, uh, mural that they have on the wall. Uh, by the dining area and it's so fun hopefully you guys can see it uh, but it's a very fun um, image and it, this is a picture of me and my boyfriend on in front of the mural but I just did some tip-ins with the pictures and uh, I did some journaling underneath it 
But yeah, that was pretty much it for that day, May 15th. And uh, if you're curious, this sticker here, I got it from a um, printable from the um, notebook archive his store she's on Etsy as well as on Instagram under notebook archive so if you're interested um, I really like her designs and it's just a printable that you can buy from her Etsy shop and uh, yeah this day I had a lot of like personal um, you know journaling so I cover most of it and um, there's really nothing crazy happening this day i had to do some work and uh, um we just hang out at night uh, with me and shelby and um, uh, her husband tony and my boyfriend was actually fishing for most of the day so it was a chill day for us uh, next day this was may 16th this was a saturday uh, so the guys decided to go um fishing again and uh, so me and shelby got to spend the whole day uh, by ourselves and having our girls day so we grabbed some brunch at our one of our local uh, coffee shops and uh, we took it to this uh, park in my town and we just had a lovely day we just got to also go to michael's and buy some stationery uh, so it was a very fun day um, the next day this was a sunday may 17th uh, Tony and Shao left around noon uh, back to Phoenix, but we had some brunch at this restaurant called Josephine's. It's a modern American bistro here in town. This was the only place open in town that we can you could actually sit down. Uh, so that's why we took them. And uh, this doily is actually I got it from uh, one of the breads that they served me. So I thought it was so cute. I really wanted to save it as a piece of ephemera. So that's why I grabbed it. Do you guys do that too? <laughs> I feel like my boyfriend's always complaining that I, I look like a crazy lady. Uh, I'm always grabbing stickers everywhere that I go or business cards or doilies. <laughs> and uh, he's like, why do you need this? I was like, it's for my journal. But anyways, um, if you guys do that, leave down below so I don't feel as crazy. <laughs> anyways. Uh, next day, this was a Monday, uh, May 18th, nothing really happened this day, it was a very basic um, layout, not too too proud of this, um, I just worked a lot on my um, filming and recording my videos for my YouTube that was about to start uh, this week, this was a Monday, my first video was uploaded on Wednesday, so I was working on that. A lot of the stickers I got it from Michael's, from... Um, a sheet um, block of stickers I I showed that in one of my Michael's haul so I'll link it above here if you want to check it out but yeah it's just uh, uh, washi tapes from Michael's washi tapes from Michael's everything from Michael's here anyway next page this was May 19th this was a Tuesday also worked a lot on my YouTube channel so there's a lot of cameras and things going on here nothing special on this day wednesday may 20th this was the first day that i uploaded uh, this was the day that i uploaded my first video so i wanted to uh, document this so i took a picture of the thumbnail of my first video we also had another friend of ours chris coming in to stay the weekend with us so he came in earlier on wednesday so uh, we went to josephine's again uh, to have some dinner there and uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. On the 21st, this was a Thursday. Um, I just did some journaling as well. And uh, I took another picture of the thumbnail for my second video. And uh, I started to keep track of the stats of my YouTube channel. Just to see how many subscribers I was getting every day and how many views for each video. This was May 22nd, this was a Friday. Um, we end up deciding to grab some pizza at our local pizza place, Fratelli Pizza. Um, and we just uh, did a takeout and we ate at home. And we just had a chill day. I just decided to uh, leave here another image of my thumbnails. Uh, thumbnail, not thumbnails on Pluto. Um, just for the video that I uploaded that day. Um, and here are the stats on the back. 
Um, the next day, this was May 23rd. This was a Saturday. Um, not crazy day. I wanted to document this was the day I spent most of my uh, day uh, going through a training for work. And um, um, that's why I have this here. And I try to do something different with this page. I try to use some of my inks. Uh, with some water and kind of do a like a watercolor effect i'm not crazy with blue and pinks blue and pink is one of my least favorite colors believe it or not <laughs> but i wanted to do something different i think it turned out okay um the paper this is the 003 insert from travelers company the paper it's not meant to be used for watercolor this is a md paper uh, but it held up it held up pretty good uh, it, it, it wrinkled a little bit, but not too crazy. I was happy with it. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> May 24th, this was a Sunday. Again, I worked a lot on my YouTube stuff. Um, yeah, nothing special about there. Nothing crazy happened. May 25th, this was a Monday. Uh, this was a holiday here in the US. Uh, we celebrate Memorial Day. Uh, if you are not familiar with this holiday here in the US, if you're not from the US, uh, this is the holiday that we celebrate and we remember the soldiers that die in war fighting for our country. Uh, so it's a day to remember their sacrifice. Um, so I decided to use like a American uh, stamp and also this doll, this paper doll that I got from the Tim Holtz ideology line. She's holding an American flag, so I thought it was very fitting for the day. And I just uh, taped here an image of a thumbnail for my video for that day as well. And uh, that's it. Uh, May 26th, this was a Tuesday. This was a very boring day, nothing crazy happening. I just wanted to um, to document that I got nine subscribers that day, so I was super happy. So that's why the nine is here. But I just worked on my videos that day, so that's why it's very camera filming uh, theme. If you're curious where I got this tag, I got from Tim Holtz um, at Joanne um, from one of his uh, taglines from the Ariology line. Um, same thing with this, and those are all Tim Holtz. Next page, this is May 27th, this is a Wednesday. Um, if you've been following the news at all lately, um, you know about the tragic uh, death of uh, George Floyd. So I wanted to document this here. Um, so I just used one of the paper dolls from the Tim Holtz ideology line as well. I think, it, you know, I think it represents, um, you know, at least the idea of George Floyd and uh, of his death. I don't know, it was a sad day here in the US for us. Um, I had a lot of journaling on that day, so that's why I used this tip and paper here. Um, it was a crazy day, guys. Um, it's just no comments because it's just, you know, so many crazy things happening this year. Anyway, so this paper here, um, it's from Tim Holtz paper pad as well. Same thing with this card. I just use it right here just to cover my stats. I didn't want this to be the main focus, the main focus of this layout. I want it to be this image, um, you know, just to, to represent what happened. Anyway, moving on the next day, this was May 28th. This was a Thursday. This day, um, I used this uh, small envelope here because I wanted to document that this was the day that I actually got my first pen, pen pal from Taiwan. Um, I, I won't open the envelope here because it actually has her full name and her address. We exchange addresses. So I wanted to save this here and document that this was the day that I got it. Uh, my pen pal from Taiwan and I was super excited about it. Um, so yeah, next day, this was May 29th. This was a Friday. Nothing crazy happened here. We had a couple of friends um, sleeping over uh, because they were going to go on a boat on a Saturday. So um, 
they came to stay here with us we me and my boyfriend ended up deciding not going with them on saturday because the boat was just so full of people already it was on the limit and um we are just not that crazy for going on a boat and staying all day on the sun <laughs> But anyways, I just worked on my YouTube channel and uh, this was the uh, video that I uploaded that day. And I just have a tip-in card here from Tim Holtz, just with the stats of my uh, YouTube channel. Anyway, next day, May 30th, this was a Saturday. Uh, this is a very simple uh, layout. Um, we had a lot of fun this day. Uh, once our friends were back from the lake, uh, we had a barbecue at our place uh, and we had dinner. We got to play um, some fun games and uh, and uh, yeah, we had uh, like a score count and uh, I kept this paper as a piece of ephemera because this was one of the papers that my friends were using to keep uh, track of the, you know, of the points that we, uh, for the game that we are playing. So I think it was very fun. So I just kept that. And here's the last day of May. This was May 31st. This was the last layout. Now, I do have a process video for this layout where I show you in real time me decorating this page. So if you're interested in that video, I'll link it above here on the screen. But this was another heavy day, guys. Um, I wanted to treat as a very historic day. Um, and the reason why is because this was the day that our governor, if you are if you don't know, I live in Arizona in the US and our governor declared a state of emergency on this day due to the riots uh, happening in the state. Um, you know, several cities, we had it, uh, one of the biggest shopping, uh, you know, the Fashion Square Mall, one of the biggest malls in Scottsdale. Uh, being completely um, destroyed by the uh, protesters and uh, here's the sad thing about guys is um, you know is that there's groups of people that are taking advantage of the situation and uh, infiltrating in the peaceful uh, protests to cause damage right to cause the riots and looting and uh, it's so sad to see that, you know, we are getting to in, into this. But anyway, so I wanted to uh, document this. So I, I went ahead and printed out the copy of the original document of the Declaration of State of Emergency. Uh, our governor um, created a curfew with this Declaration of Emergency prohibiting um, the citizens to leave the house after 8 p.m. until 5 a.m. So we are not allowed to leave our house after 8 p.m. So I just wanted to, you know, document this. So I took a picture. Oh my God, my plant here is always on the way. So I wanted to document uh, this. So I took a picture. And because there's two pages, I went ahead and uh, uh, sticked on both sides here, if that makes any sense. So I can have that tip in right here. And I explained how I do that on that video, on the process video. And this is just a sheriff's statement on public safety. I thought it was a very interesting document as well. From that day, so I printed out and I just tipped in because I had a lot of journaling to do on this day. I just used that as a tip in. But yeah, guys. Um, and uh, I just used those paper dolls again for the Tim Holtz ideology line i thought this was a very good way to represent the situation and uh, the rights that we are fighting for and um yeah that's pretty much it it's a you know it's a heavy ending to the month but you know that's what is journaling is about is documenting your life and everything that happens right at least for me um so some not always you get to journal about fun stuff sometimes it's the heavy stuff too it's part of life right but yeah that's pretty much it guys for today um i'm ending this insert here like i said this is an entire insert just for me i have another insert that i'm starting for june so every month i have one insert for the entire month where i have my planner as well as my journaling 
and uh, if you're curious how I was able to fit everything in one insert, I actually, uh, and I explained that in my setup video, so if you wanna watch that, but I actually added an extra page to my insert, so that way I have enough pages to fit in everything. But yeah, um, that's pretty much for this video. Uh, sorry, it was a long rambling video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't like videos that is just flipping through and uh, you don't get to hear the thought process of that person or why they created the pages the way that they did. I like more of a video that, you know, explains the, the story behind the, the layout. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment letting me know that you guys don't like this type of video, so I won't do that anymore. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you like videos like that, I make videos about, you know, traveler's notebook, planning, journaling, stationery, and all of that fun stuff. So if you like videos like that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Um, any likes, um, following, commenting, definitely helps to support my channel. It shows to YouTube that um, my videos are interesting to people like you so they can recommend my videos to um, other peeps that like the same type of videos that you do. So I really appreciate you sticking uh, with me this far in the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Bye now.